Today we're going to send video via text and email using LineDesk. Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Today we're going to find out how to send video via email and text using LineDesk. So let's just jump in. If you're new to LineDesk, this is going to look completely new to you. Uh, but if you've been using LineDesk for a little while, then you know what these tabs are. So I'm not going to go into that. Now, going beyond that, if you've uploaded images in the past, whether you were sending some email or putting your image, your face or your logo in your email signature, then this video is going to be super simple for you because it's actually easier to do video management, so which is what we're gonna do, than the image, than uploading an image and having it work in your email signature or your email. So you're ahead of the game. But if not, no worries. There's actually videos in this channel that are specific to LionDesk on how to do lead, uh, lead connection between Facebook and LionDesk, how to connect LionDesk to landing page software, and other line desk related videos so feel free to check those out let's let's just jump in i keep saying that let's actually do it we're on our com communications tab this isn't going to matter too much to us we're going to come back to this specific tab in a few seconds but jump over to video, video management and you see here you have two options right off the bat which when you click on record you can actually record in front of your computer, you have, I believe it's two minutes, let's see. So if you're gonna set up a video type, which is essentially what is gonna drive line desk, whenever you're recording, you need to tell it, is this for email, because I'm gonna set it up that way, or is this gonna be for text? So if I toggle this on, it's gonna turn off the emails, and know that with text, with given the limited bandwidth with text, there's only a 20 second time uh, interval that you can actually record. So whatever you're, whatever you're recording, whether that's a new lead that you have, just introducing yourself, ensure, and this will do it for you, that make sure that it's less than 20 seconds. If you're sending something out with a little bit more tutorial, um, a little bit more details that you're wanting to include in your emails, then you would record, of course, on the emails and you get two minutes. Now, if you're, rec this is the recording mechanism. If you actually upload, which is what we're going to do today, you get three minutes. The text is the same. You have 20 seconds, but approximately three minutes of a video is what you can send via email and it works. So that is the first step in it, in creating a video. So we're going to upload a video. It's an email video. So that's the type that we're going to select. Again, if you toggle this on, it turns off the email part. So you see here the video file must be MP4 and then the, the 16 megabytes max approximately three minutes. We're going to browse files. Go over here. Select that, which is a kind of like an explainer video and an animation that I use with this pretty cool software that I just produce about five different animations every single week and then just run ads based off of those. So it's been pretty, it's been pretty handy. And we click start. The uploading is very quick as you can see and the processing will be, will be Quite, quite fast as well. It's not a large file, so it's not um, it's not that impressive, but at the end of the day, there are some slower applications out there and other CRMs that make it a little bit more challenging, but LionDesk does a good job of, of making it pretty, pretty straightforward. Again, the video part is actually much easier, much is a strong word, is easier than uploading an image, which there is another video on this channel if you want to go check out that that video if you're looking to upload your profile pic 
in your email signature or if you want to include a visual for for the people that are in your drip campaign that may reinforce the point that you're trying to get across to them. We are almost there. File, file was uploaded successfully. As you can see here, this is the type. So you, there's no confusion on, hey, is this a text type? Is this a email type? It's very visual for you. And since this video is longer than 20 seconds, I believe it's longer than 20 seconds, I wouldn't be able to upload it as a text type anyway. You can edit here, you can delete. When you go to edit, you can put a bit more information about the video, so title it. Uh, it has some additional, you can put a description of the video, demo, description of video. You can tag it, so if this is more for your buyer leads, that way when you're creating a video asset, almost a YouTube channel within your Lion Desk, then you're well organized and know that this is for buyer information. So, buyer lead video. Did it save? There we go. This is the first step. Very similar to the image uploading, there's two steps when you're actually getting this to, to work. It's not a control V uh, type of a upload or, or process. So Line Desk will actually host your video, will actually host your image, and that's that's how it's gonna work. So you go over to send an emails. If you wanna embed it somewhere else, then of course you can certainly do that, but for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna go through this and show you what it looks like when you're, when you're sending emails with a video. What's pretty cool about it is that it has a, a few seconds. It shows the image, but beyond the image it shows some, it's a couple of seconds of the first part of the video. So it's it's dynamic in that sense when the client receives it. They, they know that it's not just an image, they know that it's an actual video and there's something behind it that's actually moving. So that's pretty neat. Test video. And then here, you, you're going to go here to video, which takes you back to the video management. And you're going to click insert. Now you're going to see these, uh, they're not brackets, they are, what are those called? <laughs> they're called something, but you see the the funny parentheses is what I'll call them. It's already embedded the video. So don't don't mess with this. Don't try to add or take away or anything else like that. Wherever the cursor was at is where the video was uploaded. So we're going to put hello test vid hello or let's get a little bit more real. Check out my video below. And then you can schedule it or have a recurring, but we're since this is a test, we're going to send it immediately. And it's off. Now, let's pull up the phone so you see what it looks like on the on the back end. All right. So, I hope that you're able to see that correct. I'll just put it where my head was at. Test video is a subject you see the hello, and then you see the image inside moving. So that'll draw the attention, that'll draw some eye attention. You're going to have to click, the client is going to have to click through, and this is what it looks like. It almost it almost has the feel of a, a secured connection. It has the, the feel of a secured, if you've ever gotten an email from Wells Fargo or Chase, well, Wells Fargo is a bad example uh, when it comes to security, but... 
a Chase, Frost, any bank out there, they have their encrypted messages. It almost gives me that, that vibe, and that's a complete tangent that I shouldn't have gotten into. But you're going to click through, and it carries the audio and the image, and I'm sorry, the video, so you're off and running. Now it works just the same with a few tweaks with texts. Now remember there are some limitations as to the size of the text or the, uh, the video that you can send via text, but it works pretty much the exact same way. Instead of you sending a email, you would be sending a text to your contacts. And it, that really, that's all there is to it. It's much simpler than, there I go again, much. It's simpler than the image upload. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to drop them in the description below. If you're new to Lion Desk and would like to try it out, there is in the, a link in the description below. There's a 10% a discount if you use that link as well. So again, any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to, um, to reach out, and I'll see you in the next video.